Hi there, my name is Melissa Casera. I'm a professional screenwriter and publicity strategist, and I help entrepreneurs create obsessed fan bases for their work, leading to more sales, more signups, and more fan mail. So today I wanna to talk about how to create a surprise hit in your business. So this is often something I'm asked where, you know, people have their offers going out there and they're not selling quite as well as they want them to, which can be tricky, right? To find that little magic moment of creating something that people truly want. So one way that you can do that is by creating a surprise hit. So here are a couple of ideas in order for you to do that. So the first idea that I have for you is to bring back classics that people know and love. So this is something that, you know, oftentimes I'll see in certain industries where a lot of the professionals within that industry will say that something is so over. So let's say you work in the fitness industry and all of your peers are saying that um, Zumba is so over. Nobody wants Zumba. It's totally done, right? <laughs> and you love Zumba. And you know other people would as well. And you get a little caught up in the fact that all your peers might say that it's over, like outdated, but you want to do it. Well, I recommend bringing back that classic, doing it your way. If you love it, then do it. And there are lots of people out there that still do love it, even if those people aren't your peers. Remember, your peers ain't paying your bills, right? <laughs> so you don't need to impress them. You just need to find more ideal clients. And so if there is something that your industry says is so over, but you still love, feel free to bring that thing right on back, okay? Revive it. Now, the next thing is that you can take a strong stance on something. You can break a taboo. You can really go there. So when you take a strong stance on a topic, this is a great way to captivate people, right? It's a great way to turn on the people that you want to turn on. It's also a great way to turn off the people that you want to turn off. Because whenever you take a really bold, strong stance on something, then lots of people are going to get kind of offended that you're not trying to target them. And that's okay. Because there are plenty of people out there that can service those folks. You don't want to be one of them. You just want to show up and serve the people that you want to show up and serve. So don't be afraid to take a strong, bold stance on things. That can help you become more successful because you're actively drawing in more of the people that you want to reach and that you want to serve. Okay. And then finally, don't wait for permission. Go ahead and create your own stage. <laughs> so one of my favorite, favorite um, stories about this is my good friend, Susan Hyatt. She at one point was trying to get a book deal for her book, Bear, which I have over here on my bookshelf. Um, and now it is a book, which is beautiful and wonderful. And that was her goal. At the time, she was trying to get a book deal and everyone rejected her. And it was her big dream to get this six figure book deal and it just wasn't happening for her. And so she decided, you know what? I'm gonna make my own six figure book deal. And so what she did was she turned the book proposal that she was shopping around into an online course. She launched it, it made six figures, and there was her six figure book deal. It was in a different package than she had originally anticipated, but it worked, right? And then that actually bought her some time to go ahead and revisit the proposal, take it back out. And then when she did, she ended up clicking and finding the right publisher for her later on down the line. But I love that she created her own stage. She didn't let it get her down. She didn't let her weigh her down. She went right forward, created her own book deal, right? Six figure book deal. And then later went ahead and achieved the goal that she had originally set out to achieve. And it all looked like a different package but isn't that what's so awesome, right? Oftentimes the package looks totally different than we expected, but it comes back even better, which is amazing. So I hope that those tips helped you to create a nice surprise hit in your business. Now, if you are wondering, well, when am I gonna have any time to get these surprise hits made? I get you, I feel you. I've created my favorite time productivity technique into a guide and it's called I Heart Batching. It's right below this video. 
and you can just download it for free and start using time batching in your own business in order to achieve your own goals and create your own surprise hits for your community. So with that said, I hope that this has inspired you to go ahead and be more bold or break a taboo or create your own stage and start putting yourself out there in a bigger way. Thanks so much for watching.